Hey guys, this is Jake here wrapping up our two-part tutorial series on the split view. And in the previous tutorial we went through how to how to actually populate the root view controller or the master list, which you can see here we, we did the Google and the YouTube. And now we're gonna go through, as you can see, inputting the detail view, which corresponds to your master list here. So you can see we've populated two items and then we've associated logos with them. Same thing with the uh, landscape view. You can see it changes a little bit with the root view just in place as a static on the left. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna drop out of our simulator here. Root view controller M, the implementation. This is where we left off. We were establishing the cell text and what it was gonna say based on our array logo list. So what we're gonna do is go down a little bit further, and you'll come to table view. The table view. When we select the row, what are we gonna tell our detail view controller? And so that's where we're going to input right at the bottom here. And so we're going to type in there detail view controller dot detail item equals string string with formats. Go ahead and give the format here. Comma and then we're going to establish our array here or specify our array logo list object at index index path dot row double brackets with semicolon at the end so that's basically saying as we select the row we want it to index our logo list array and pull from that so then the last thing we got to do in the implementation of the root view controller is go down and release our relay. Uh, sorry, release our array. So logo list release, and we are all wrapped up in the uh, root view controller implementation here. So the next step is we're going to go into the detail view controller dot h the header, and we've got to specify a few things here. We've got to we've got to implement our popover controller. Specify that uh, controller. <clears throat> Next thing we've got to do is we've got to give an ID to our detail item, which that is going to come into play when we associate the logo. Last thing we're going to do is establish an outlet for the UI image view. We're just going to call this logo view. <clears throat> and the, the logo view is going to be where we're going to place the logo on our view. There are actually one property down below as we've added some uh, non atomic, retain, and this is going to be the image view. Again, logo view. All right. We're going to go into the detail view and hook up our logo view. So go to the detail view XIB and as you can see we've got just a regular static label detail label we're just going to delete that out. Go ahead and pop open your objects scroll down and you'll see the image view right off here drag that on. We're just going to increase the size a little bit and then center it within our uh, our view controller here and then we're gonna hook it up now so again hold control from the files owner on top of it and hook up the outlet there last thing that I'm gonna do is just go to the attributes of the image view and the mode we're gonna put aspect fit so no matter what size the logo that we have it's gonna fill the image view there <clears throat> okay now moving on we're gonna drag our logos into the supporting files or whatever whatever the detail items that you're implementing in there so off to the right here I've got Google and YouTube as JPEGs and I'm just gonna drag those into the supporting files <coughs> and make sure you copy items into the destination group folders now the one thing you want to take note of is as we've programmed our array we have exactly the same wording as our images are. So you can see u, u space tube dot jpeg and google dot jpeg. So if we go back to the uh, root view controller 
scroll up you can see as we added the objects we made sure that these were the exact same as they were specified down here U space tube if we were to uh, take that out and just have U tube the array would be incomplete when it's searching for the image in the future so just keep that in mind as you guys are looking for images or whatever you're inputting that uh, this method particularly the, the add objects has to be in direct correlation to your image file alright a little bunny trail there but let's go back to the detail view controller implementation and this is the final step that we're going to input and again we have to synthesize the property that we developed earlier so after the last synthesize or anywhere within there synthesize and that's going to be the logo view that we added so don't forget to do that going down um, this is where we're going to update the view so this self configure view we're going to actually going to comment that out and we're going to put in ns string logo image equals ns string string with format and this is where it's crucial to what the actual image was named so if we have a PNG or a different type of file we want to make sure that it's exactly the same and so as you can see we've got dot JPEG so again like if Google was Google dot PNG and YouTube was YouTube dot JPEG it would only find the YouTube dot JPEG so keep that in mind as you guys are working forward and then a comma and then we're gonna put in underscore detail item and that's specifying from up here your new detail item and that's what we're gonna specify is this image is gonna be the new detail item alright so don't forget your semicolon at the end and now we're gonna set the image on the page there so self dot logo view set image UI image image named logo image double brackets with semicolon and so that is good to go there alright so after you put that in place we're gonna run our application make sure it uh, make sure it works and coincides with the images that we put in the supporting files and uh, see if it actually works alright we've launched it let's go ahead and see bingo bongo alright so we've got the Google and the YouTube images appearing change the landscape make sure they stay uh, stay within the realms um, and looks like it's working so that's again how to populate the root view the master list to the detail list in a very simplistic m manner so hopefully that helps and uh, we'll continue to go forward with uh, more of the basics and then more uh, and then moving towards some of the advanced as well Alright, peace out guys.